Saturday the 12th, 6.42 a.m. Right, well I vote we um, shake this quilt out whilst it's nice and quiet out there. If there's nobody out there, let's go do it. First we did the quilt. Then the mattress topper. And finally, the black seat cover. That's it. In you go. Well, I've got to make it all up now. How are we going to do that? Do we not? Oh. Well, let's put the bed up. Oh, no, no, we've got to roll the got things roll out the first, thing. haven't we? Yeah, so I'll have to do it while you're out there. Are you right staying out there? Yeah, I'm fine. Only one if you just put them flat on the bed again, then I'll come in and help you roll them up. Yeah. Only one person can move at a time in our van, so one of us has to wait outside. Nature is already hard at work, and I enjoyed watching this bee gathering pollen. Are we ready to roll up? Yeah. Okie dokie. Getaway Geese's suggestion on how to roll up the bedding has completely changed the use of our van for the better. You're supposed to wait for me to do that, Charlie. I thought you said to do it. Oh. Just getting some through flow there. Fine. Charlie the weightlifter. Now I know we had a big bowl of sprouts the night before, but this isn't the reason why we've got all the doors open. Vans have a habit of hanging on to moisture, so a good through flow of air can really help sort that out. When you open all the doors, it's just like camping really, but with more comfy chairs. Can't beat these little neck warmers, you know. They double as a COVID mask, keep you warm. And it's, um, I quite often find if I wear one of these, I don't actually need my jumper if I got my hat on. Time to see if the uh, zip tie repair is holding up. And it looks pretty good to me, Houston. Not too old to be crawling around on the floor. What are you doing? Reading Facebook. Social media. Good thing or an evil thing? Jury's out on that one, I think. So you just have to pull these out to put the um, seatbelt in. Yeah. I don't know why, but it suddenly occurred to us we've never ridden in the back of the van. In. And you're good for the road. Yeah. We've never tried it in the back, have we, either no. driving? No. So we're going to give it a try on the way down to the town, I think. Yeah. So we'll see what it's like. Okay. All right? Yeah. Right, I think we're all ready to go. Everyone all right in the back? It's a bit chilly. Can we have some heating on, please? Yeah, all right. Will do. Places that I've been. That's not bad at all. Then you're not going very fast, and we're only on little roads. So. The weather is so changeable. Appetite. What 
sort of change from the previous two days. When that sun hits you, it really gives you a burst of energy. You could stop here on the left in a pinch. We pootled about a bit before finally stopping at the oyster catcher for some lunch. This place was really busy, so be aware if you want to come here. Oh, it all fits in one cup. Pink cider. <laughs> Very mild. Mm. More like being on a holiday, is it? Yeah, eating out on a sunny day, having a nice lunch out outside. A nice glass of cider. You're righty. Lunch has arrived. Mm. <laughs> Chips look nice and Silky interesting. Fries. Aren't they? Some prawn and lobster. Prawn and lobster. Mm. Delicious. And mango. I think. <laughs> What's the pizza look like? Should we drink? Yeah. That looks nice. And tasty as well, mm. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay, tuck in. It's the first time we've had filthy fries. Yeah. Mm. They're tasty, aren't they? Mmm. Very crispy. Mmm. They're quite difficult to prong with the fork, though. Mmm. Mm. I find the older I get, the more important food becomes. Mm. Good, Chips are amazing. So crunchy. Mm. Lunch was good, but now it's time to go and do something a little bit different. We've been down this road before. We're back on the track that leads past the viewing point at RAF Valley. Looking down a dusty road. down the end here, he's found a quite amazing little park up, but beware it's tidal here. We're here to meet Stephen from Country Van Life TV and he's got quite a remarkable story. You can get this one in the garage mate. Keep filming each other. <laughs> yeah you get mine yeah. I've got a garage on the back it fits in there. Yeah that's right it would wouldn't it. <laughs> Steve's a great guy and it's a real pleasure for us to meet him at last. He's done a great job on this van conversion and it was a privilege to be able to go in and have a look around. We didn't film but I think Steve did and he may well show you more so check out his channel. Cheers! Really nice to meet you, mate. Great to meet you. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Our cars will cross again. I'm, I'm sure they will, mate. Yeah. I'll be on the road full time. <laughs> <laughs> you can be safe. 
we look after each other. <coughs> Treasure each other, I know you do. Yeah, we <laughs> do. Alright mate, okay. take care. Cheers now. May your travels in Christine be trouble free Stephen and we'll see you next time our paths cross on the road. He's got some good tubers for company. This is the airport. They do twice daily flights to Cardiff from here. This is the town of Clangethny. There's a petrol station here where we can top up with diesel. One of the advantages of an MV200 is that this is quite a rare event. The position of the tank is good for a low centre of gravity, but it can make your back ache filling it up. The second time we've filled up now since we in a way, how much was that one? That one was the forty-two pounds twenty-six. Okay, so total about seventy odd pounds in fuel so far, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Bad. It's time to find a nice cozy little spot where we can rest up for the rest of the day. Looks like we might have a Mexican standoff here, so I'm always quicker on the draw. Lock time. So, we're off to get some fish and chips, hopefully. And eat them in the van somewhere. We're not going to be staying here the night, so with everything safely packed away, it's time to move off. No matter how many times I see it drive off, I'm still struck by how small it is. We're heading southeast and the Snowdonian Mountains are looking particularly moody tonight in this light. We've come back to Clangethny to get the fish and chips. Looks like a group of bikers are first in the queue. Life is too short. <laughs> so they say. They smell nice. Yeah. 
I think they like big portions around yeah, here, so like I enough. asked for small. But oh, when I saw them dishing up, their portions were huge. They're enormous. Yeah. Uh, what should we do? Should we eat it here? Yeah. And watch some YouTube? Yeah. Oh, that's a small portion. That's a small, yeah. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not complaining about the portions. I'm just a bit overwhelmed by them. Oh well, dig in. We ate our fish and chips watching an episode of Roaming in Raymond featuring Carl, Helen and Nanook, the rescue husky. We find them to be a very down-to-earth couple who really relate what it's really like to be on the road full-time in a van. We're just leaving St David's now. We did spend the night there because we didn't know where else to go and we were knackered. And your ticket gives you 24 hours anyway and we, there was no sign saying no overnight parking. So we presume it's okay. Nobody's knocked the door, saw the bloke cleaning the loos. That's it really. A few ladies on the left here having a celebration. The fish and chips were brilliant, so we can really recommend this place. Right, after those tasty fish and chips, it's time to find somewhere to spend the night. And this evening we're going to be doing something we don't normally do, and that is use a place we found on Park for Night. We've got the windows open to get rid of the fish and chip smell, like being in an open top car. Charlie's obviously enjoying herself. And the farmer out on the tractor. I slept all night on a big white ship. Up here on the left is an Airbnb that gives you that camper van feeling without the fear of being moved on. Oh, for such a precious gift to me. Salty breeze and the waves. The slow pace. The salty breeze and the waves. The park up we're heading for is up here in the hills. The roads are a little bit narrow and some of the bends are quite steep. Once you get past that period where you're worrying about where you might stay the night, camper vanning really comes alive in the freedom it gives you to stay out quite late and see spectacular views at different times of the day. Here is one of those bends I'm talking about. Looks nothing on video, but it's actually quite a struggle for the van. But this was not the biggest hill we met on this trip. The landscape up here is really quite different to anywhere else on the island. I feel like you could be in Scotland here. Oh, I was going to say like Iceland yeah, or, or out to Hebrides. Yeah. yeah. It's got a totally different feel about it. Mountains. Not far to go now, almost at the park up, and we can see there's one other van already there by the looks of it. 
We missed this turning on the left at first and had to turn around and come back and try again. Park for Night and other similar apps are really useful, particularly if you're new to wild camping and not used to spotting park ups for yourself. But one of the drawbacks is they can get quite busy and also attract the attention of boy racers. Our neighbours have got a wood fire tonight, so I think we'll keep our roof down. So this is us for the night. Beautiful evening, nice and still, nice neighbours, and it should be a good night. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.